What up, everybody? Welcome back to the Martin Garden Crypto YouTube channel. And today, I'm going to talk about DeFira. And over at DeFira, you can actually earn a lot of money. There's no going back. Please don't hold me back. Remember back in the day. Yeah, be real. I can't because there are some high APRs with a trend of 300% over here and here it's 2400% over here. So that is a lot. And if you look at um, the APRs, you can actually see that they are like divided into three separate tokens. So you get Fira, you get s -Fira, and you get Trank. So Fira is the governance token of um, the Fira. And then s -Fira is sealed Fira, and Trank is the governance token of Trank of Finance. So this is like a lending market. You can uh, supply money here, and you can borrow money here. And over here, you used to be able um, to do nothing else but, but that. But now, here it says, Trank of Finance is now part of the, the Fira verse. So the DEX feature is available through our new DeFira app. The current front ends you are using will soon be migrated into the DeFira verse. And if you go to the DeFira app, then you get um, linked over here. But this is not the game, this is just the app. And if you go here to the game tab, Then you can actually see the game. So let's get rid of my sidebar over here real quick. So if we look at this game, it <laughs> first thing it does is remind <laughs> us of DeFi Kingdoms um, primarily because it is actually made by team members that have also worked on DeFi Kingdoms. I don't know why they went their separate ways, mm -hmm. but there's probably some internal conflict or whatever. I don't know. Maybe. But we do know that DeFira has Tranquil Finance integrated in there. So the whole plan is to move Tranquil over to their decks, at least. They want to move that over to DeFira first, and I think all of these are going to be moved over to the DeFira platform. So if you go to DeFira, you can provide your liquidity. And if you want to learn more about that, join the Discord because we are going to launch in April and we are going to teach you everything about decentralized finance. But we will also have other courses like focused on NFTs and focused on blockchain basics, etc. And we will also do coaching in the form of one-on-one -on -one coaching and also group coaching so that's what we're gonna do and we are gonna do a signal group so all of the signals that we find we are going to share with you and that is just gonna be worthwhile it will be a subscription service so if you like that sort of stuff be sure to head on over to the discord channel so yeah anyway that was like the the, the sponsored part of this video sponsored by <laughs> us <laughs> so let's move on Great sponsor. if you go to the farm boom <laughs> so if we go to the farm you can actually uh, farm your tokens over here so the way you do that is just you, you press add liquidity then you get uh, linked to the to the app and you can add your liquidity here in the form of fire or trank or whatever pool you want to join yeah. so this one doesn't have any impermanent loss because it's just both one so you can get 260 percent on that one but that is going to be 233 percent in sealed fire and sealed fire you can't unlock yet that just takes 365 days i'm going to show you how you can unlock it in a bit and yeah you have some pairs here with some coins we all know and love but we also have some pairs with the Fira token in there uh, and this one as well and these have the highest APRs and that's great and all but those are paired with risks as well like impermanent loss etc so those Fira tokens I just want to also highlight the not so great part so if we go to CoinGecko it actually says here the smart contract owner can mint new tokens please proceed with caution this doesn't mean that the project is a scam or whatever. No, not particularly. Because new tokens need to be minted uh, for this whole game, etc. 
But it is kind of weird, and they actually have to... I think they have to modify the smart contract a bit. So that is red flag number one. There's another red flag for me personally, and that is the fact that the team gets 22% of the whole supply. So that's not that great, and those are vested for two years. Um, so I think it's a smart play to have your sealed Fyra maybe unsealed before those two years are over. So you can dump on the market, but that the owners of this project won't dump on you. So yeah. I also think that maybe these guys don't really want to cooperate with DeFi Kingdoms because in my opinion, DeFi Kingdoms has like higher integrity, to be honest. Yeah. Um, they don't have all of those things going on. Um, and you just get Jewel over here. It's locked. But uh, I don't know. It's a different locking mechanism. I don't want to talk bad about DeFi. I'm just showing you red flags that are on my mind. Because you have to do that in crypto. A lot of people are just like, oh, yeah, it is the next new thing or whatever. But you also have to look at the bad side. Like, actually, actually why... Why only have that tunnel vision on the positive, right? You have to look at the bad side. So yeah. there's another bad thing here. Or at least something that a lot of people are going to ignore 100%. So this is the circulating supply right now. So that's uh, 686,000. And this is the price. And this is the market cap. So if you do the circulating supply times the price, you get the market cap. Right? That's just an easy uh, math equation over here. But that means that if this grows, right, then the price could dump if the market cap uh, will remain the same or goes lower. And that's maybe a bit hard to understand. But look at it this way. The circulating supply times the price is the market cap. See? But, okay, let's say this market cap is the same and the circulating supply will grow. So let's take this equation for example. If the, if the market cap remains the same. Yeah, so no one puts new money in. Yeah. And the circulating supply goes to a billion then the price per vira is going to be 0.014 dollars but if the circulating supply is 686000 then the price is 20 dollars and 55 cents that's where we're at right now yeah so this is the circulating supply now i want you guys to pay attention right now because this is really important so listen up the fira token has a hard cap of a billion tokens so you have to take this equation into account guys because you can lose all your money so that's red flag number three <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't mean it's not a good project. I actually like the project. So let's talk about the positives. If you go to this Enchantress, you can stake your sealed Fyra over here. That's nice. You get a high APR, 720%. But those rewards are also in the form of sealed Fyra. So that's nice as well. But at some point, you are going to have to unseal them over here. And if you do so, then it will take 365 days to finish. And then you will have your Fyra. That's nice, but not when there are a lot of new tokens being minted. And it might be the case that you go from uh, 20 bucks 
to zero point zero fourteen dollars, right? So you have to be really aware of the fact that your FIRA may not be as valuable in the future as you would want it to be, because this gameplay may be worse than this gameplay, right? Or, I don't know, maybe there's another internal problem, or maybe the heroes don't work, or the heroes that will be here, uh, that, that you can mint, and they can help you unlock those sealed Fyra faster, maybe those will bring that downward pressure, right? So you got to take that into account, like, for real, because you can lose money. So I think it's a good strategy to be in this project for free. And you can do that if you are a bit smart with the farming. And you have to be smart because the competition is, is out there. There are a lot of people doing this stuff. So if you go to Tranquil Finance at the Trank tab and you go down, you can see over here that you can lock Trank. And if you do so, you can stake and lock Trank to receive protocol fees and rewards in Trank and Fyra. Your Trank will also be locked for six months. If you want to unstake your Trank, that comes with a 50% penalty and those will be permanently burned. So not a lot of people are going to do that, I think. So you can actually lock your Trank over here and then you get Trank, Fyra, one a stone, one uh, rabbit C, one ETH, one USDC, and one USDT. You get all of those, but look, pay attention to this one. You get unlocked Fyra. So your exposure is only going to be the Trank price. So that's um, relatively safe. The APR is almost at 400%. You also get dollars. That kind of covers your ass. Bitcoin and Ethereum. These are not bad, so impermanent loss is low, right? And you also get Trank, which you can add here again. <laughs> so, <laughs> and yeah, Fyra and one. And Fyra and one, you can farm. So it is possible to just do this stuff completely for free or low risk if you only expose yourself to Trank and Trank in my opinion, has a good future, and Trank doesn't have those tokenomics with 1 billion tokens, etc. So that's something you can keep in mind, right? So be smart with the farming. You can, like, do the whole I don't want impermanent loss thing. You can do this, right? There's a lot you can do. So you can also maybe go here to the gardens, get some of your jewel, and maybe put it in here. They don't want you to do that. Which could, like, <laughs> yeah, like, why not? You could, maybe you could, but I think DeFi Kingdoms doesn't want you to do that. But hey, I mean, sometimes you just gotta, uh, you know, spread your assets a little bit, spread the mass cheeks, baby. So if you go here, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's really similar to DeFi Kingdoms. So if you go here to did, the did, market, did, did Warren Buffett say that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> at some point in his life. Probably. So you can actually add your liquidity over here. You also could have used that app that I just said. So you have the app and the game, but it's the same pools. And this coin changer doggo, that little rascal, this is just the swap. So this is the Uniswap thing. You can just swap your coins here. That's great. And then you can supply them over here. So this is like that druid guy uh, that is also over here. This dude, the liquidity pools, the trader is this coin changer. And you also have this at the temple, the guard. So this guy is bringing us uh, the option to actually stake your Fyra tokens. Here you can stake the Fyra token and that's the Fyra's main currency of exchange, la la la. This is the price, so be careful. Like I told you, you can stake them over here. But yeah, nice APR, but there's still a catch. The rewards you get are the sealed Firas. So be wary of actually uh, getting your investment out of this project. I think it is important yeah. 
to get 100% profit early on so you can get in this project for free. I didn't think it was that important over here, but it is important over here. So, you know, they are going to expand as well. They are going to have battles and I don't know what, you know, they're going to do a lot. We are going to talk about that in new videos as well, like the game vision, uh, conquest mode. They want something to do with, uh, with IPs, intellectual properties, blah, 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 blah. And they also want to bridge over to other chains, cross change. Well, not bridge over, like literally uh, do, do the cross chain thing. So my mass, that's like the tranquil of Kronos. It's a fork. And yeah, this stuff we will get into in new videos. Also, the heroes I will get into in new videos. If you like that, be sure to subscribe. The IP vision, uh, yeah, they just want to do comics, and etc. So you have a lot of fans coming in. That's cool. They want to do an anime. That's cool. But we'll talk about that later. So the Fire Token, I just want you guys to be really careful because of this hard cap thing, right? A lot of people are hyping this project up. And it's nice. It's a good project. But be careful because right now, it's just growing, 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 growing. This is Fire versus Dollar. Growing, 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 right? 24th of February, it was $4. Now it's 20 And we are four days later. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be surprised by uh, red, red signs, baby. Because once this Fyra supply gets minting and the market cap doesn't bring in a lot of new money... Uh, a dump is inevitable and then they need more money to like sustain the price with that higher supply so be careful it is not the safest for if you want a good roi return on investment you just gotta be careful and you gotta be sharp so take your your funds that you have put in this project seriously that's all i'm trying to say the team also gets 22 percent the treasury is 15%, marketing 5%, so the team has, like, a lot, right? What's R&D? R&D to cover research and development costs. Okay, so the, so the team actually has, like, 50% if you actually look at it with, you know, not sugarcoating. So, yeah, incentives 50%. That's a lot, That's a lot especially a lot. if the supply is going to be a billion. So, be careful. Yeah. I'm not saying it is a it is a bad project in any way. I'm just saying be careful. Always keep it in mind. Yeah. So track token, my mess token. We will cover all of those, and I'm going to teach you how this works. So that's cool as well because over at Trankel, you can actually borrow money. You can supply that again. Then you can borrow more, borrow again, supply again. It's like an infinite money loop. Uh, there are some downsides. Obviously, it's not like that easy. But you can get a good APY for doing for doing that, and yeah, you have to be careful because you actually have to pay. Um, you have to pay to borrow as well, so you have to pay that back in time, or you will get liquidated. Blah 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 blah. I will tell you all about that later. But keep it in mind, there are some red flags. Uh, apart from that, nice project, and it's very similar to DeFi Kingdoms. More details on this channel soon. See you guys in the in the next video. Everybody that's interested in our yeah courses, etc. Yeah. So maybe just tell them what what that is a little bit. So yeah, in the past, um, Martin has been very busy with his YouTube and sharing signals, helping people with crypto, starting up DeFi, yield farming, those kind of things. So what we are going to do in April, we are going to launch our own company. It's called Coach Crypto. Um, so it's got a little funny picture of Martin being animated as a coach yeah. and we're basically just gonna coach people so we're gonna share signals uh, we're gonna have courses where we're gonna teach you how to do DeFi, yield farming but also just the basics of cryptos uh, NFTs all, all those kind of aspects of the crypto world you can just learn about it in our courses we will do private coaching yeah. um, we will do multiple things and it will just, yeah, I guess it's going to be legendary. That's the logo, <laughs> the coach crypto. You can, you can yeah, yeah, see yeah. the similarities. It's Martin. <laughs> and um, 
I'm hella excited for it. Yeah, it's gonna be really it, cool. It's gonna be really cool. Also, the community. We also already got a lot of people just, you know, joining the Discord and are, are very hyped for everything. Just, you know, it's it's a lot. Go check it out. Uh, it's gonna be the Discord in the description and uh, make and the Instagram. The Instagram is gonna be in the description. Just yeah. make sure you check it out and. Um, and if you want to talk to us, join the Marta Garden Crypto Discord. Definitely. And we can answer all your questions or yes. just DM us on Instagram. Yes. Mine is Martin Garden Crypto. And his is Thomas. What so, is it? Uh, from my Instagram. Yeah. Oh, it's just Thomas Workman. So yeah. Work. Work. So also links in the description I will, below. I will put it in the description. Yeah, we'll see definitely. See you in the next video. We'll see you later. Bye I bye. Bye bye. <laughs>